All right. So we have initial velocity zero for the rocket. That's what I was saying. Because rocket has engines, so because of the fuel burning, it will accelerate up. Oh. Did you understand? Yes. 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 Right. Okay. So here it will reach its highest point, B. Fine. Then the maximum height attained by the rocket. So obviously this is the maximum height attained. Agreed? Yes. So we have to find A to B. Correct? Yes. Here the velocity is zero. Here the velocity is zero. So first of all, from the graph. Okay, graph my A B J. That's not our A B. Yeah? Please be careful. That's a different thing. So A is one and zero. Oh, or zero. Next. Make it same so that there's no confusion. So, if you want to find this point here, when the rocket reaches maximum height, at what time does it reach maximum height? Look at the graph and tell me at what time does the rocket reach maximum height? There seems to be two different opinions, I think. Some of you are saying. 20 seconds. Some of you are saying 120. Who says 20 seconds? Who says 120? Okay. Graph. Look at the graph. At A, the A point is shown in the graph. That is at 20 seconds. Agreed. Yes. Yes or no? Yes. At that point, means at twenty seconds, what is the velocity of the rocket? Thousand. Thousand. Yes. You know nothing. No. Sure. Yes. But we know at the highest point, the velocity should be zero. You understood where you went wrong. Those who said twenty. Yes or no? Yes. After twenty seconds, the velocity is how much? One thousand. Read the graph properly. At twenty seconds, the velocity is one thousand. It is not zero. Agreed or not? Yes. Where is the velocity zero? Look at the graph again. At one hundred and twenty seconds. Clear or not? Yes. Sure. Yes. Yeah. At twenty seconds, the graph is highest. What that means is velocity is maximum. At twenty seconds, the velocity is maximum. Did you understand? Okay or not? Okay. Yes. Right. How much is that maximum velocity? Thousand meter per second. Clear? Yes. Everything understood now. Yes. So answer of this thing. When does it reach maximum height? It's not twenty, but it is one twenty. All right. Now we have to find displacement from A to B. A graph is given. How do you think we should find displacement? Raise your hand. How could we find the displacement from A to B? Given that you know this is at one twenty seconds and this is at zero seconds, how can we find the displacement? Yes, Raghu. So area under uh, witty graph and axis. Area between the witty graph and the yes. axis gives us displacement yes. yes. and distance are whichever we want accordingly. You know, we have to put plus and minus. Fine. Clear or not clear, everyone? Yes. Area between the graph, witty graph, and the axis yes. or not? Fine. Sit down. So can you all see that area which we have to find? Yes, sir. Area between graph and the axis. Correct or not? Yes. Sure. Yes. From which time to which time? Zero to one twenty. Zero to one twenty. Okay, do it yourself. Come on. That shape, the shape that we have over there in the graph. What shape is it? Triangle. Triangle. Okay or not? What do you mean? Area of triangle. Half into base. Half into base. Half into height. Okay. So Hopefully you can see the large base of the triangle, and you can also see the height of the triangle. Raise your hand when you are done. Hurry up. First of all, you will get answer in meters. Be careful. Options are in kilometers.
retardation will be equal to 10 10. Because by calculation, first of all, we get A equals minus 10. Right or not? Yes. Okay. Okay or not? Okay. Yes. Is anyone getting 10 as A itself? No. Okay, calculation will be state here. Put the value to the For some calculation. Okay. In the equations of kinematics, what is T? Time so from A to B, how much is time interval? 20 to 120. What is short? Oh. Right, let's go over to the next question. See, busy method See, when will the rocket have upward acceleration only when the engine is running? Yes or no? Yes. And if the fuel is there. I'm sure you realize that as the rocket goes higher and higher and higher, at some point all the fuel will get consumed. Once the fuel is consumed, then there is only one thing acting on it, and that is gravity. So if there is something moving in air under the effect of gravity, how much is its acceleration? Downwards 9.8 or 10. Downwards 10. Done. Yes or no? Are we going to answer? You know how we go? Okay. But yes, you know, this is actually a very casual method. Generally, if a graph is given, we should follow the graph properly. You never know, this rocket might have been on Mars. <laughs> right? Then gravitational acceleration on Mars is not 90. Way less. Probably 2 or something. Okay, 21. Yes, Priya, you have the answer. Okay. Do you have the reasons also? Stand up and explain. Okay, zero to eight. The graph looks like bump shape. Yes or no? Yes. 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 Next graph. That's why we are dealing with it like that. Okay. So acceleration negative. zero to eight negative. Okay. Then a to b equals b zero. Looks like a straight line. Actually, it's turning on the other way, right? Yes. Okay. Then in B to C, it is positive. positive. The acceleration will be positive. Is it fine or not? Yes. Okay, so the answer will be B. 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 Right. Sit down. Well done. Okay, explanation clear? Yes. Whole shape, bump shape. That's all we are seeing. Nothing else. Alright? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. Acceleration time graph of a body is shown in question 22. So first of all, acceleration is positive and constant. <laughs> yeah, no? Horizontal yeah. graph means positive and constant. constant. So what will velocity time graph look like? Look at all the cases we have gone through for VT graph. When acceleration is constant and positive, the VT graph looks like what? Straight line. And incline upwards or downwards? Upwards. Because the velocity will change in direction of acceleration. So velocity will increase. I mean, it will become more and more positive. Understood? Yes. Again, if anyone is still a little doubtful, refer the graph. At least karai wa jaya. So if there is any problem, you can just refer it. Makes it very easy. Acceleration positive at once and means the VT graph will climb up. Okay? Yes. Okay, then what happens in second part? After that first dotted line? Acceleration, Acceleration zero. becomes zero. 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 means velocity. So velocity should not increase, should not decrease. Okay? Yes. Then second part of the VT graph should be? Straight line. Yes. Going up. Incline incline. If acceleration is zero, what is VT graph like? Horizontal line? Yes. Or incline upwards? Horizontal. Yes. Sure. Yes. Refer the graph if you need help. What is your name? Yes. Acceleration constant. Uh, sorry, zero. So that would mean velocity is constant. Constant velocity meaning VT graph will be a horizontal line. Clear? Yes. So second part means horizontal. First part it was increasing like this. Correct? Yes. Yes. This is VT graph that we are drawing. Okay, third part now. What happens in third part? Acceleration is positive or negative? Positive. Positive once again. Yes. Velocity inclined. Inclined. and going up. up. The graph will go up. Correct or yes. not? Yes. Sure. Yes. The answer will be C. 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 Everything.
being cleared? Yes. Okay, 23. <coughs> Figure two on displacement diagram of a particle moving on a straight line path. What is the magnitude of average velocity? Okay, who remembers formula of average velocity equal to fall for when it is? Okay, delta x upon delta t. Okay, so from the graph we will find out delta x and we will find out delta t and we will divide. Okay. So over 10 seconds, we said that is 10 seconds. Okay, so I did the hard part for you. But <laughs> now easy part is for you to finish. Delta x, delta x means displacement, that is xf minus xf and position minus initial. Okay. So look at the graph. What's the final position? Final, uh, final. 40 40 40 40 40 or 60 40 40 yes sure yes minus 20 minus initial position 60 60 10 10 so this is going to be minus 20 minus 2 Meter per second square. We have to find the magnitude of average velocity. So its magnitude will be 2. Understood? Yes. 24. I got a dispute word or question. The maximum instantaneous velocity of the particle is around which point? B. 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 This is which graph by the way? XT. Distance time graph but behaves more or less like XT. Okay. So for finding velocity we should find? Slope of tangent. Okay, so where is the B. slope of tangent more? B. 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 It looks like P to B. For C also it's very close frankly. B to C is more or less the same really. Okay? One, whichever you choose. It's not D, it's not A. That is one. Right? Neither D nor A. Depends. Okay, 25. Person walks along an east-west street and a graph of his displacement from home is shown in the figure. His average velocity of the whole time interval. Again, same relation, average velocity is going to be delta x by delta x. Over the whole time interval means 0 to 19. How much is displacement? 0 to 90. 0 to 19. How much is the displacement? How do you find displacement? XF minus XF. How much is displacement? 0. 0. 0. 0. Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. Isn't displacement the area between the graph and the axis? Yes. So displacement zero, average velocity displacement is zero, average velocity is zero. Correct. Next, twenty-six. In the following velocity time graph of a body. The distance traveled by the body and its displacement during 5 seconds. First 5, okay, means during 0 to 5. Fifth second, Nadia, please be careful. It's not fifth second, it is during 5 seconds, 0 to 5. Okay, which graph is given? Medium. Which graph is given? Medium. Graph is given. Yes or no? Yes. You want to find out displacement. And distance travelled both. First is distance travelled, second is displaced. So how do you find distance travelled from which graph? In yeah. 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 graph yeah. and yeah. axis. Yeah. And all areas are positive. <laughs> Must be some dotted line draw kar di diche. And you find all the individual parts. Upper di chalu karo. A1, but in A2, right side A3, A4 and A5. Did you mark them all? A1, A2, A3, A4, A5? Yeah. <laughs> okay or not okay? Yeah. Clear or not clear? First of all, A1 is what shape? Triangle. Triangle. A2 is? 
such a formula. What do you think will be integration of 7x raised to 6? What will be the integration of 7x raised to 6? x raised to 7. Yes or no? Yes. How so? We think that, okay, whose differentiation is it? Well, the answer is it is differentiation of x raised to 7. So, integration of 7x raised to 6 is x raised to 7. Yes. So that's it. Exactly the reverse of differentiation. Nothing more, nothing less. Exactly the reverse of differentiation. Understood? Yes. Come to the general differentiation. Nobody the formula out of it. In integration, nobody the formula out of it. Kali undi use karta out of it. You understand what I am saying? Yes. Okay, but still to make it convenient for us to use it easily. Okay, we will write a separate list of rules for integration. Just like we have written a list of rules for differentiation. Yes or no? Yes. Okay, but frankly, we do get integration in physics, some with integration and all that. Okay, but generally, as far as NEET is concerned or board exam is concerned, we don't have to go to too much depth. Right? Otherwise, this is obviously can have lots of complicated things that we can do by integration, but its scope is not that widespread, or you know, we don't use it very often at your level. I will tell this mother integration so common. How is it? Why? Nevertheless, so here are the rules. So rules for integration, just like there are rules for difference. So, first thing is not a rule, I will teach you how to write it. Just like you write differentiation by writing something like d this upon d that. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. Similarly, we write integrator by this sign. We write integration by this sign. S nothing, straight line in Did you understand? Am yes. um, Okay. Am um, make <laughs> Right? It's not x. Okay. So, generally, just like we do differentiation with something, for example, if someone says dx by dt, what this means is we are differentiating position with respect to time. Do you remember that? Yes. If the integration is with respect to something. Okay. So, typically it looks like this. Integration of u dx or integration of u dt or integration of u dy. When you write like this, it means we are doing differentiation with respect to x. Is that okay? We are in, oh, sorry, integration. We are doing integration with respect to x. When we write dx by dt, it means we are doing differentiation of x with respect to t. Okay. Just like that, when we write integration u dx, is the integration u dx means we are doing integration of u with respect to dx. dx is then your dt is after with respect to t, right? Just like that, we are using dx then we say with respect to x. Okay, rules of the game. This is fine. Yes. Okay. 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 Do integration of, for example, 7x raised to 6. So integration of 7x raised to 6. What do you know? This is wrong. Because you have to do with respect to x. Did you understand integration of 7x raised to 6 will be, or cx, this will be equal to x raised to 7. So is it is very bad. Is it okay? Yes. We'll definitely explore the rules next time. Okay.